Hello everyone. My name is Madhura Lamay. I'm a senior product manager at Warmetric, and I'm joined by my colleague uh, Vince. He is a product marketing engineer, and we're here to give you an overview and a demonstration of Warmetric live data transformation. Before we talk about Warmetric live data transformation, uh, let's talk about VTE. Warmetric transparent encryption uh, is a product that Warmetric provides to operationalize encryption and do it in a manner that's transparent to applications. So today with VTE, we can install VTE and applications can continue running without any changes and access the data while the data is being encrypted and secured by VTE. But one of the biggest problems or deployment challenges uh, when deploying VTE is related to the initial data transformation or the initial deployment, as well as when for compliance purposes, we need to do a key rotation and therefore rekey the data using the new keys. For both of these situations, today it is required that applications incur a downtime and the initial deployment or the rekey operation happens while the application is down and the data is inaccessible. This always results in a delicate balance uh, whenever you talk about incurring downtime and having maintenance windows. So administrators have to work on this balance between providing or deploying the data security while managing the planned downtime. The cost of any kind of a planned downtime could range from loss of productivity to loss of business and other operational costs. Just as examples we have in the real world, uh, we have had customers with nine plus million files or with uh, databases which were over the size of 20 terabytes where they had to wait for a Christmas or a holiday week in order to deploy Warmetric, or it took a maintenance window of up to 24 hours or even more, depending on the size of the data, to do the initial deployment or the rekey operations. Live data transformation, which is what we're presenting today, it actually is the solution to these deployment challenges. And we are proud to present an overview and a demonstration of how this works. So what does Warmetric live data transformation do? It's basically the solution to achieving zero downtime deployments of an encryption of the Warmetric transparent encryption solution and zero downtime key rotations. So with live data transformation or LDT, we can transparently transform the clear data to encrypted data without incurring any downtime or disruption to the applications. It's regardless of the number of files that you have or the size of the database, you can pretty much deploy it without having any impact on the business application. And the same thing applies even for scheduled key rotations, which are required as a best practice for compliance purposes, where the key rotation can also happen uh, without having to bring down the application and without making your data inaccessible. We have applied for a patent and it has been approved for live data transformation and where metric today holds the leadership position in a live data transformation solution for transparent encryption. Other than the fact that live data transformation can provide uh, no downtime uh, deployments as well as key rotation, some other key attributes related to LDT include CPU resource management and scheduling. What this refers to is uh, the ability to monitor and control the amount of CPU which is utilized by LDT processes. This enables customers to control the amount of CPU provided to LDT so that there isn't any resource hogging that would impact the application. We also have the ability to schedule the LDT operation to happen during a certain period of time, for example, during non-peak hours like nights and weekends. And the, these are just ways to uh, enable a better user experience when it comes to the use of the application itself. Other than that, uh, LDT has been architected to withstand uh, different kinds of storage or system failures. Uh, we can always recover and we can uh, resume from where it had been suspended at the time of the failure. LDT also provides the ability to do version backups uh, and archiving. So you have the ability of having secured archived data and you can actually do it using different versions of the key as you go through key rotations. Warmetric Live Data Transformation will be available as an add-on feature license, uh, which uh, would sit on top of your uh, VTE agent licenses. There is really no separate software which is required for LDT. Uh, the license would help enable LDT on the agent. 
and the pricing will be based on the number of uh, enabled VT agents. Um, VT agents which are enabled for LDT. It is architected for Windows as well as Linux and the general availability is Q4 of this year 2016. So after this brief overview I'll hand it over to Vince who will give you a demonstration of the LDT feature in terms of how to register hosts for LDT and then perform things like uh, create keys and policies and actually do the LDT on the hosts. Thank you Madhura. Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to demonstrate live data transformation for both Windows and Linux uh, host machines. Uh, let's start with Windows first. Um, let's start by registering uh, this particular Windows host machine to the data security manager. Let's uh, use the shared secret registration option. Let's enter the shared secret domain name and uh, uh, description of the host Windows 2012 server. Uh, is the host name the data security manager? Okay, Pop automatically populated the host name of this machine. Register. Let's give it some time to register the agent with the data security manager there you go the registration succeeded now let's go back to the dashboard if we look at the host we see that uh, the host we just registered is right there uh, now let's enable live data transformation of this particular host so it's as simple as clicking this check box apply okay there you go now we have uh, successfully registered a host and enable live data transformation capability on this particular host. Uh, next step is to create a key. Let's create a key that we're going to use for this demo. And let's leave the default values as is. The new option uh, for this particular solution is the automatic key rotation option. Let's uh, click on that and also let's specify key version lifespan of 90 days. Let's click OK. There you go. You have uh, a key with the automatic key rotation option set. Now let's create a data transformation, the live data transformation policy. So this is a new option also. Uh, live data transformation is a new option available starting um, 6.0 version. Let's give a name for this particular policy. Okay, let's uh, add security rules to this. Security rules are nothing but uh, uh, allowing operations. You can specify what operations are allowed on this particular uh, on a particular protected host uh, folder. Uh, for simplicity, I'm going to allow all operations to work on and allow this to work on this particular policy. I give it the apply key and permit uh, options. Click on OK. We have the rule set. Now let's add keys. So this, since this is the initial transformation, the first key is always a clear key. Next key is the key that we just created. Select, click OK. Okay, there you go. You, we have successfully created a policy of type live data transform, live data transformation. Now let's use this policy on the host we just registered. We create a guard point. A guard point is nothing but uh, a folder that you want to protect on the host. So this is the policy that we just created. Let's browse through the file system and can locate the database. This is the database that I want to protect. I uh, just want to make sure my database is stopped. Yes, it is stopped. Um, yeah, there we go. OK, 
Okay, status turned green. Now we can go ahead and start our database. So this is a major uh, differentiation from the initial solution. Uh, we had to let the transformation complete for uh, to kick start the database. But uh, with live data transformation, all I had to do was enable the guard point and as soon as uh, the guard point uh, succeeded, uh, I could switch on the database and now I can do operations on the database like I can I can query, I can you know populate rows to this all while transformation is still going on. So you can see transformation is still in progress, but if you go yo, I can still query. Yep, yeah, there you go. So the transformation completed. So this was uh, uh, the initial transformation. Now let's uh, try uh, rotating a key. So if we go to the keys, this is the key that we just created. So you can see the key version right now is zero. Now if we, let's try and rotate. So we rotated the key. Click on OK. So if we go to the host, we go to the guard point. If you can click on refresh. OK, there you go. Key rotation kick started. Now I can still go here. I can do my queries. I can execute. I can populate queries into the table. And my Rekey is still going on. There you can see there you go. I can still populate some more entries. I go here, I can still execute. There you go. All my database operations still succeed while Rekey operation is still going on. So this is on a Windows machine. Next, uh, I'm going to demonstrate live data transformation on a Linux host machine. Uh, as you can see, I've already registered a Linux host on the Data Security Manager. Uh, the steps to register uh, is exactly the same as Windows, so we're going to skip that. Uh, let's just go inside this uh, host and let's enable Live Data Transformation option uh, for this host. Okay, there you go. So we enable Live Data Transformation. We are going to reuse the key and the policy that is created for uh, the Windows demo uh, so that uh, keep things simple. Let's go in and let's protect a guard point on the Linux machine. So the guard point I'm going to use is uh, the MongoDB database uh, uh, files. So I'll browse through thing and search for the directory that hosts all the files. So this is the file uh, directory that I'm going to use to protect. And this is the policy that we created earlier. I'll click on OK. Yeah. So let's uh, wait for the guard point to successfully Turn green. Let's wait for the status. Yes, it turned green. So now let's go and start the MongoDB. Okay. And now let's start my user interface for MongoDB. Okay. So now if I go in here and refresh. Okay. I'm logged into MongoDB so you can see my database is online. I can see you can uh, I can see the entries of the database while transformation is still going on. Okay, transformation completed. I can still search for documents. and still allow me to do that. Let's 
So the total 10 million records. So there you can see I can do a thing. And so the rekey completed. Now let's do, that's the initial transformation. Well, let's do a key rotation. We have key version one, if I rotate it. Okay. I rotated the key, now let's go to the host. Let's go to the guard point. Let's wait for it to start rekeying. Okay, it's starting to rekey, but you can see I can still, you know, do a search 122 let me do it now I can still find docs my database is still online all while rekey is still going on rekeying is still going on still finding docs yep there you go so I can even delete a record document deleted successfully Go to my contacts database. See, I can see my database is still online, all while rekey is still going on. Yep, there you go, rekey completed successfully. So, um, what you saw in this demonstration is uh, the capability to do live data transformation for both Windows and Linux hosts. Uh, another key aspect of live data transformation, which I wanted to show you is uh, the capability for uh, to do QoS uh, for online data transformation so that uh, you can schedule it on weekends or weeknights uh, uh, so that you know live data transformation does not kick in uh, during normal business hours you can also set a cap on the CPU utilization and the allocation for CPU resources uh, for live data transformation and uh, that's it.